Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. We're the Horn family and today we are going to talk a little bit about derma rolling. And just a disclaimer, I am not licensed to this. This is just what works for me. And it's not part of my nightly routine by any means because I do have a derma roller one. I don't know if you can see what this looks like, but and you might not think I have wrinkles, but I actually really do. Yeah, they're like permanent right there. And it's supposed to help with like just helping your skin reproduce collagen on its own. Plus, I'll show you guys what I use afterwards and the whole process. But we can go ahead and just get going and I'll kind of explain to you what you need to do beforehand as well. Um, also, I got the Derma Roller off of Amazon. No, 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 my bad. Walmart and the stuff that I used afterwards which I will show you as well I also got that off of Walmart and I think the derma roller was like um maybe eight dollars or so if not maybe eleven at the most not much more than that so like not hardly at all and I believe this stuff was maybe like maybe twelve Honey at the absolute most which that's not really bad at all for all of the things that it has in it which I'll read you as well but yeah so that's where I got those two things but first you want to soak your derma roller in alcohol <laughs> I think I just spilt it in alcohol for at least 10 minutes oh no shh. there's a hole in the bottom of that that's awesome but anyway soak that in there for at least 10 minutes before you also want to wipe your face and whatever else you're gonna do, which I'm not gonna do a whole lot, cause like I said, a one is a lot. So there might be some people cringing out there, like, what, you're 24 and you're using a one? But I'm not gonna do a whole lot and I'll show you guys what I do. And I also like to do it to my lips because I feel like it helps plump them a little bit. And that's really nice. But it definitely has helped with the wrinkles. Babe, do you think this has helped with my wrinkles? Absolutely. It really has. And I don't do it much, like I said. So, And I don't like go crazy on it and have myself bleeding everywhere. Because it basically says online, like when you read about a one, it says like it's going to make you bleed. And it hasn't made me bleed that bad mm -hmm. when I do it. So. Did you already do it? No, I'm about to start. I'm about to tell them. Here we go. Alright, we're going to start. I'm going to shake it off. You just shake the alcohol off there. It says you can even really leave it on with the one. I have a mirror right here in front of me and I'm just going to, I have wrinkles up here, so I wanna do right here. I might do a little bit next to my eyes, which you have to be very careful, but you start off and you go down like this and you go all the way across like four, five times and make sure you do not drag it. You go down and you pick it up. Go back down, pick it up, that's what you do. And then after that, you go back this way. So, pick it up, go back, pick it up, and make sure you go over the wrinkles that you want. I'm bleeding. <laughs> I'm bleeding a little bit for the first time. I might be pushing hard because I'm looking into the camera. But yeah, you go back over this. And just get it real good. I'm going to go back over it again. Cause why not? I only do it like once a month and I'm bleeding. Heck yeah. I don't know if you see the... I'm bleeding. <laughs> okay. Next spot. And I'm just gonna go ahead and go right over my lips. But mainly, I really want to hit right here. So these hurt. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it's gonna hurt. But make sure you just don't drag it and it's not gonna hurt that bad. Just... Go down, pick it up, and just keep going over them. <laughs> I like to go over my lips a lot because <laughs> it makes them pretty big. I really want to get these wrinkles gone, make these ones bleed. Ow. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start going across because I went ham on that. Ow, it's killing me. It hurts really bad. You're also supposed to put numbing cream on <laughs> before level one, but you know what? I gauged my ears when I was in eighth grade from a regular earring to an eight for the first time, so I might have a bit of pain tolerance. 
I sh probably should have ripped my ears open. It's pretty stupid, actually. Don't do that at home, kids. Don't do not try that at home. That was stupid. Okay, I'm still going. And then I'm going to do these right here just a little bit. These are really, you have to be very, very careful. When you do next to your eyes, do not get it too close. Just do like, you know. Just yeah. Uh -huh. No, because of the needles, babe. It's needles. <laughs> do not get these too close to your eyeballs. But yeah. I'm naked faced right now. You guys have now seen me with completely no makeup on. Lovely. It's a lo it's a beaut. You're so beautiful. Thanks, baby. And some people go diagonal too, but like I said, I am not trying to get crazy. I'm going back over these spots. So whatever. I'm not trying to get too crazy, so I'm not going to go diagonal. Plus, I've heard that that can like really mess your face up. Starts to feel good on your lips. Sorry guys, ran out of space. Anyways, so I rolled my neck. I soaked my derma roller in alcohol for 10 minutes before I put it back in the case like you're supposed to. The next time you're supposed to do the same. I'm gonna go in with the IQ Natural Serum. It has age reverse, 2.5% retinol, hyaluronic acid, and vitamin E. I mix a little bit of that in with the Nivea Soft because it has jojoba oil and vitamin E. And then I just put that on my face basically, rub it all in. And I know some websites say not to use anything with retinol, but I've been using this stuff and I'm just fine. So that is my entire routine of derma rolling. I hope you have enjoyed and let me know in the comments if you try it out and you like it. Please subscribe if you haven't already and hit that bell button and we love you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye, Bye guys. I look terrible and I really don't mind because I just have some things I need to get off my chest. Uh, we just got back from vacation so that'll be the next vlog you see after this one. Um, the derma rolling vlog that you are video you watched just a second ago that was a couple months back but um yeah I just have some things I want to address um so first off this is my channel and I wouldn't feel right although I say I, I have grown I have grown a lot but some things I'm just not going to put up with anymore I'm not going to put up with people's bullshit and so I'm going to stand up for myself because that's me and it wouldn't be my channel and I wouldn't feel right if I didn't say something so to my subscribers out there, um, I feel close to you guys and I, my favorite YouTubers are people who are real and will get on there and just tell you exactly how they feel. So that's what I hope that you guys get out of this. I'm not really trying to be like dramatic or whatever. Um, I'm just calling some people out. So one thing I want to say too is that don't get me wrong. I'm not like butthurt about dislikes on my video. I have no idea. Maybe it wasn't, but all my subscribers can go back through all of my videos and look themselves. We have no dislikes on our videos. So come to the friends that you need to leave behind in 2020. And someone may have just not liked it. It might have been a, a, an ex-friend who like got shitty about it. But the thing is, is that there was someone who was in the Q&A as well. And so there's a dislike on the video of the friends. And there's also two dislikes when we only talked about two people in our Q&A. And I just wanted to call you guys out because woman to woman, um, if you guys, if you really want to sit behind a computer screen and hit dislikes instead of like coming to me, texting me or texting my husband or you guys know where I live, we can figure something out if there's a problem. But uh, basically, why why dislike my stuff and I think it's very very weird that you're even watching our videos that are so intimate about our lives like I don't know about you but is it not weird that it's like that it's so intimate and like if you guys had a YouTube channel there is no way in hell I would be watching because I don't care so fuck off because I literally just like don't care what's going on in your lives we don't get along so 
it, it's very weird to me and maybe it was someone who just didn't like the video and that's completely fine but I I think my gut feeling is usually right and my gut instinct says that it was these two people so if you don't like me don't watch my videos that's all there is to it it's that simple um I think that I went about the video so so respectfully I had people ask questions that were very mean about you guys that I didn't even bring up <laughs> and and other questions that I didn't want to like I to protect someone else um I avoided those questions uh I have legitimate I'll bring them out don't worry I want you girls to comment if it was you woman to woman say it was me in the comments below please and the next video will bring out all the reasons why I don't like you guys because I have proof of all the stuff you said and if the world saw what you guys said to me I'm sure they would agree with me that I, I was very nice in that video. That's basically all I want to say. Thanks, guys. I love every one of you who support us. And like I said, if it was someone that just didn't like the video, that's completely fine. I just, I don't believe it was. So, have a good night, guys. Love ya.